Riding a bike in Long Beach has has been a pretty interesting experience. I've met a lot of really interesting people in Long Beach that ride bikes, a lot of creative people, and a lot of people that are into a lot of things that I'm into. And um, it's just a lot of fun to meet new people in the bike lane and see the different, different type, types of bikes that are out there and get to see how people ride, ride their bikes and find out where they're going and how they get there. And also, it's also nice to understand that there's a community of cyclists around that you know, I, I can see all throughout the city. It's an overall good experience. I've really enjoyed it. It's it's a rush running down like a uh, running down Atlantic Avenue, going like 30 miles per hour, like bombing hills. You know, it's really exciting. You know, it gives you a rush, but also it's fun just to go down to the beach and just take a casual ride around around the beach. You know. I don't think a majority of the population in Long Beach is, is aware of the bike culture, the strong bike culture that's that's here in Long Beach. And um, it's just a matter of time, you know, until it becomes, I don't know, until it becomes common knowledge that yes, there is, you know, a thriving bicycle community here in Long Beach and all the residents understand that yes, this is a city that has a lot of cyclists and the city is doing something to improve the infrastructure here. and that you know either we should coexist or you know I don't, I don't know that will be up to you know to the citizens to decide whether or not it's good or bad but um i still think there still needs to be some more awareness you know spread throughout the city so that people can be more aware that there are cyclists around so that when they're driving on the road they can make safer decisions there was one time i was biking down in uh, downtown palm beach and i was riding in the bike lane and actually a cop pulled me over he was like, sir, why aren't you riding in the bicycle lane? He's like, well, there's a lot of potholes and I can't get involved. He's like, well, you're required to ride in the bike lanes in downtown Long Beach. But I'm like, well, how am I going to ride in the bike lanes when I really just can't ride it? It would damage my bike. And then we just got into an argument. He didn't take me or anything, but it was the fact that he was really inconsiderate about the fact that these roads are so bad that I can't even bike in it without risking you know, falling off or damaging my bike. Over the past couple years, biking has become a main source of transportation for residents in Long Beach. Due to this increase, the city of Long Beach has installed 1,200 bike racks and has also installed two miles of separated bike lanes in its downtown area. By doing these things, there have been a 33% increase in ridership over the past year alone, as well as an 80% drop of collisions. Despite all the new bike lanes and bike racks that the city has installed in the downtown area, they continue to overlook the west and north side of Long Beach. The lack of installed bike lanes causes bikers to ride in the unsafe main streets and sidewalks. One of the main ways Long Beach can improve is to increase the amount of, you know, you know green lanes is one solution. Maybe um, pr protected bike lanes also works as well. There's a ton of different design concepts that are out there that, you know, that they're the planning committee for the city can learn from and some of those might not work in Long Beach but some of them can work in Long Beach. I do think infrastructure upgrades and maintenance is a big thing because there are a lot of there are certain there are certain spots in certain bike lanes that need to be repaved. They're pretty much like uh, some of the worst lanes to ride in because right you basically you end up riding in the street because of a fear of like getting a flat tire. <laughs> 